Good morning. Welcome to Planet Mojo. It's a beautiful fall day and I'm going to be spending it laying out the siding for the back of the house. I also need to get an order figured out. We're having the siding for the back part. We're having that made at the Amish place. So I have to get that order figured out as well, but that's pretty easy. Not a whole lot to do there. The biggest thing is to get this figured out. When they put this siding on, I watched them put it on. They put little hash marks or little ticks where each sheet ended up and they kind of adjusted it, I believe. I'm not exactly sure how they did everything, but what I need to do is figure out where the tops of each piece go so I can get it laid out around the corner. This has to come and match this. But then when I get to where it goes over the parapet, hopefully it matches on the other side. I have no idea. They did three sides, this side, the front, and the other side. And these two skinny little walls, one on each side, I have no idea if this siding is going to match across to the other side. So the first thing I'm going to do is get the lower ones done, what I can reach. Then I'll get the ladder and go all the way up to the top. And then I'm going to have to run a string line somewhere where there's not too much stuff in the way. I'll probably have to put a wood block on it and then run a string line to the other side and see if they match up level. If not, I'm going to have to make adjustments somewhere. But then I have a door cutting everything in half, so it's possible I can make some adjustments in there. I'm not a professional cider. I've done it before, but, you know, it's been a long time. So I got to get everything to match once I get above the parapet there. I got to have everything kind of match, and then once it gets over the door, it definitely has to match. It has to match from the far side, the center between the door and the window, and this side. All of those have to match when it gets above that. So, I don't know. If you're a professional cider, you probably have ways of doing this, and you don't think it's that big of a deal, but I sure as hell do. So let's get started. So what I'm doing, you can see the top of the siding panel right there. I'm taking a combination square and going just under it and then making a little tick mark out at the end here and then transferring that around the corner like that. So I have, it's kind of hard to see, this is black, but I can see it just fine. There's a line there, line there, and then I'm going to take a four foot level and go across to the other side. And I'm going to work my way up and get over that parapet. Okay, I got the last of them done up here. I need to measure. I, you can see one right here and one right here. I'm going to have to get some measurements. I'm going to work my way down and see if they're all the same. I really don't know what they are. They got to be 10 inches maybe. So this one right here, this is the top of this one. I'm going to have to put a wood block. I'll probably just screw it right to here and then run a string line to the same one on the other side. And hopefully that's a nice level line, but you could see what I'm talking about now. And then we have an interruption for the door. So this line has to, if it's nice and level, it's got to stop at the door and then continue on to the other side. So I'll have to transfer over to the door, which I should be able to do with a level over to there. I'm not 100% sure what I'm going to do, but I'll figure it out. Okay, yeah, and then the last one, the last full one is, where is that, right here. And then from there, I'm on my own, and it's going to be all my stuff up here. I got to get this trim. I got to figure out how I'm going to end that. Uh, 
Yeah, because the the siding will stop here, so I'm gonna have to go up and over. I gotta get in here and repaint some of this stuff. But other than that, it looks pretty good. All right, I'm gonna get these measured and then I'm gonna go get the lines on the other side and then I'll put those blocks in. Okay, I checked all the dimensions down this far and so far every one is 10 inches within just a bazillionth of an inch. So each one of these, the reveal on them is 10 inches, which makes things so much easier. All right, I'm gonna get to that other side. Okay, I got this side laid out. I'm in the shade right now, and it is insanely cold. Like I said, it's it's like mid-30s out here, and my hands are just stiff and frozen. So I'm going to get a block, and... Well, actually, I'm going to get a level first, and I'm going to run a level line over to there, and I'm going to do the same on the other side. That way I can I can run a line from the roof. I don't have to be out here on a ladder doing it. So let me transfer this line over to there. Do the same on the other side. And hopefully I can work my... Well, I should be able to work my way up right on that. And then I got to move over and go up again. Ah, it's going to be kind of difficult, but I'll get her done. Okay, I'm up on the roof here. I have my line right there. And I have my line over here. And grab my tape measure. Now, they should be real close to the same between that line and the top of the parapet here. This is kind of hard to do. Let me switch hands. Six and a half. All right. Six and a half. Okay, I would call that perfect. Now, it's pretty evident that I'm going to need a really nice starter strip that's going to go from this area all the way over to the door. And yeah, from the door all the way over to there. The one I got from the guys who did the siding that rolled the siding out for me, that is just dramatically better than the ones I got from Menards. I picked up a couple at Menards and they're just garbage. So I'm gonna get one or two more of those starter strips from the company we got the siding from. So that'll be good. Now what I need to do is go up every 10 inches, make a mark, and then I gotta level over to here somewhere and then go up again. I, I'm gonna have to keep doing that, kind of stagger here and there, and get my 10 inch marks all the way up into the peak there. And I need them in between the window and the door. And that should do it. Good, good, good. All right, let me start getting some lines on here. All right, I'm making good progress up here. It was dead calm out just a minute ago, and I started filming again so that I could show you the view here, but all of a sudden the wind picked up and it's freezing cold, and I'm gonna have to just jump into it again. Oh, maybe it's slowing down. But anyways, I transferred my line all the way across to the center and then worked my way up the center, and I had to get over to here, and then up, and I got my first line up there. So what I gotta do is get up there, put a nail in, hook my tape on it, and go all the way up to the peak, and then work my way on both sides, just get some hash marks so I can get out to the edges here under the eave. And then I have to transfer these lines over and then over out to the eaves there. A good deal of work left to do, but not too bad. It's going to snow tomorrow, so at some point soon, I'm going to have to stop and get stuff ready for that. Uh, yeah, it's going to be about two inches, and it doesn't sound like much, but two inches is a lot of snow. 
it's going to get fairly nice right after that. It's going to be in the 50s for like three or four days. Hopefully that'll just melt the snow right away and I can get this stuff done. But we'll see on that. So let me get back at this and I'll show you the view once the wind calms down again. All right. So I have six and a half inches between the existing siding down to the parapet. I have that on both sides. I transferred this line across and then I went up all the way up to the peak. And then I took this one here over to the edge. Then I took this one across and went up and I have about a quarter inch difference between the two, which I think is just layout error from going all the way across like that. What I'll have to do is once I get this bottom course in, I'll measure up on both sides from that, and then I'll get a common line that I measure to as I work my way up so that when I get over the door and stuff, it's not all diddly wampus up there. So doing pretty good here. I have a few more lines to transfer on this side and I'll probably do a few more over here. I could, I could actually side, I could actually do the siding from what I have, but it would be nice to get some more lines on here so I can see what's going on. So I'm going to get that done and then I'll get back with you when I got it done. Okay. I got a little break in the wind here. It was just blowing pretty good and I was freezing but now it's not that bad. I got everything marked that I really want to mark. I probably should have transferred across here, but once I have siding in place, there's not a whole lot of fudging I can do. So I guess I'll either use a level as I'm working my way through here, or I'll transfer these lines one way or the other. But I got as much done today as I'm going to get done. It all looks pretty good. I measured from this line down here up 90 inches to that line up there and then measured across and that came out dead on. So this side coming up and all the way to here is pretty much perfect. So any adjustment that I need to make, I'll probably have to do it in this area. Again, I'm not a cider, so Hopefully this all goes well. I've done siding before. It came out just fine. But it wasn't as complicated as this. This is pretty damn complicated. So the next thing I'll be doing on this, it's going to snow two inches tomorrow. Then it's going to warm up again. So depending on how much snow is on the roof, I should be able to just shovel, at least right in this area, and then things should be just fine. The sun hitting the roof will melt things right away. I probably don't even need to shovel because it's going to get in the 50s, upper 40s and 50s next week, and that'll just melt it right away. So the next thing I need to do is pound some nails in that are proud. I got a bunch of little nails that are sticking out and stuff here. I got to get the J channel on the door, a uh, drip cap over the top. I'm just going to use the the channels that are on the window. I'm going to go right behind there. I got to retape the window though. I got to get J channel around both of these. I got to get the corners in and I got to get the saddles in. And what else? Oh, and I need J channel in the eave here up to the peak. It's all pretty easy to do, but it'll take at least a day to get the J channel in. And then I don't know how many days to get the siding on. The siding actually goes on faster than the J channel. Like on here, it's only going to have three or four fasteners on each one, and I'll be doing more measuring than putting siding on. I mean, it'll go right up this wall pretty quick. Also, I have to put the core vent on. I'm trying to stay out of the wind here. The wind just picked up again. You can kind of see it over there. I got to get the core vent at the bottoms of these, and I have to match the starter that he has there. He just has a bent piece of metal. So a good amount of work to do, but I think this is going to go up okay. I really hope so. So if you want to see this, make sure you subscribe and click on the update icon. 
If you have any questions or comments, make sure you put them in the comment section below. And if you give the video a like and or share it, it helps the channel out greatly. Thanks for watching and have a great day.